Are you thinking about how many years you will still have to work before retiring or how often do you think about that? Most Americans would not dream of retiring before the age of 50. Right, not everybody gets to work next to me, huh. though. It's not so easy. <laughs> but I recently met a guy on the pickleball courts who retired at the age of 47. And I was like, how'd you do hmm. that? He didn't get a big inheritance or win the lottery, but he says he saved relentlessly. And he says you could do it, too. In the early morning hours. A little bit excitement at Breakfast Club here on Friday. At the first crack of dawn, the pitter patter of pickleballs fills the air in Avalon Park. Ah! It's a good way to start your day. Most players here are hurrying to squeeze in a few games before a hectic work day. And I'm good till about 8:15 because I, I try, then I rush home. I'll, I'll jump in the shower real quick and then I'll head to my desk because I work from home. But the one you might call the mayor of Breakfast Club isn't in a rush, ever. You think they're all a little jealous that they have to go to work after this? Oh, and I, you just I, mess I make around? sure I make sure that they know that I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that I got all day. This is Kai Tran, a friendly retired Walgreens pharmacist. At 47 years old, he filled his last prescription. Tell me about your retirement, okay? Because it is- It's good, it's good. <laughs> you like it? I like it. I will do it, I'll do it again. <laughs> Same decision. Kai is now 52. He decided in his early 20s to save and invest between 25 and 33% of his income. He says the secret to retiring early is starting early. You know what? what? You know what? Pickleball is a lot like investing. You know, <laughs> you you know what you're supposed to do. You just don't always do it. You know, I can't execute. <laughs> that is the best analogy. <laughs> but it's very rare. It's very rare. Brandon Ronco at Ameriprise Financial has been a wealth manager for 20 years. He says the reason retiring young is so unique is because most 23-year-olds don't plan ahead. And I talk to clients about envisioning not putting the money into the account, but you're paying your future you. Uh, I've never had a client that saved money that looked back at me and said, years in the future, I shouldn't have saved that money. So Kai says there are three keys to an early retirement. First off, you have to spend less than you make. Up next, you gotta use low-cost ETFs to invest. And number three is you automate your savings so you really don't have to think about it. I envy him and I tell him that every time I see him, it's like, Kai, I can't wait to retire. Unfortunately, I'm not there yet. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's go, Kai. Woo. Kai says the real key to a successful retirement is finding something you love and doing it with people you yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we won today. Yes, well, yes we did. Yeah. I mean, you can't be that bad. Right? Yeah. Either that or I'm, I'm just that good. <laughs> well, we know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly we're friends. Yes. Uh, I like Kai a lot. He's, I play pickleball with him all the time. Now, the wealth manager I spoke with says, you're better off having somebody manage your money. But Kai, he did not do that. He did his own investing, and he swears by exchange-traded funds. Mm -hmm. These are basically funds that track the broader stock market. While a wealth manager would take, say, one or more percent off the top, ETFs charge a fraction of that percentage so worked out for him. So the million dollar question, how much money do you have to save in order to retire well, in your 40s? So it depends on your lifestyle, right? Like he wanted to get, he goes by the 4% rule, okay? So if you can make 4% off of how much you have saved and you can live off of that 4%, realistically, you should be able to go until you die. So if you've saved a million dollars, you'll get, you get 40, 40 grand, 000. 40 you grand $2 million, a you get 80,000. Just kind of depends on what you need. I'm going to go shake out my couch cushions when I get home <laughs> for some change. Or do some hard right? shaking.